six genius SMMAs that you can start right now that are completely untapped. Number one, thumbnail agency. One of the biggest challenges that I had when growing my own channel was finding a really, really good thumbnail editor. And there's a lot of graphic designers out there, but it's really hard skill to learn how to create thumbnails that truly stand out. And what you guys have to keep in mind when there's a lot of demand for something and not a lot of supply, that's where the opportunity lies. Right now, it's very easy to find editors. It's very easy to find copywriters. However, it's really hard to find really good thumbnail designers specifically for YouTube. So right now, if you run an SMMA and you want to do something different, you want to stand out, you want to go against the grain of what a lot of people are doing. You don't want to start a med spy agency. You don't want to start auto detailing agency you want to have a unique offer, if you're good at graphic design, or if you can find really talented designers and train them on how to create thumbnails that get a high click-through rate, and you can back it up with real results, then this is one of the best angles for you to take an SMMA right now. One of the most genius ways to promote this is to say, hey, I'm going to guarantee to beat your current click-through rate, or I'll give you a full refund. Another offer that you could say is I'm going to guarantee you X click-through rate, or I'll keep designing thumbnails for you for free until we hit that number guarantee. With that offer, you're going to be hitting the bullseye on product market fit and the current imbalance between supply and demand. Number two, starting a podcast SMMA. Right now, a lot of influencers and personal brands and even big brands understand the power of creating podcasts in person in order to get a lot of high quality content all in one sitting. What you could do right now is create a full end-to-end -end podcast agency where you'll hire the videographers, help them set up all of the equipment. You could even rent out a studio and book it out and white label it to your clients, have them go to it. And then your job is going to be to take all that footage, all of the audio, and then put it on YouTube. You're also going to chop it up into short form content. You're going to put it on all of the podcasts across all of the different platforms. And if you want to monetize this podcast agency even more, you can upsell your clients to get them on other people's podcasts, or you could also upsell your clients on getting them guests to come on their podcast. So what's really nice about this type of agency is that again, there's product market fit. A lot of people are wanting to do podcasts, but there's not a lot of agencies that can go from creating the podcast, editing the podcast, chopping it up, putting it on all of the channels and distributing. I know there's a lot of short form editors right now, but a lot of the times the key is to take your service and position it in a new way that no one else has done before. A lot of the times you don't have to recreate the wheel, but you do have to recreate your positioning of how you're promoting that service. If you're already a short form editor. You're technically already doing this. But instead of saying, hey, I'm a short form editor. Can I make Hermosi style reels for you? Stop it. I get that pitch. I don't know. How, it, it, it's too much to count. I just ignore If I see I can make this short form edits for you, I ignore those messages. However, it uses very similar skills from short form editing, from posting, from content distribution. But now you're positioning it in a brand new way. And that will allow you to truly stand out. Number three, we've got BA agency. Now, the reason why I believe this is an untapped opportunity in the SMMA space is because it's proven to work in other industries. If you look at online entrepreneurs and coaches, they all know about virtual assistants. But how many HVAC companies do you know that are leveraging BAs right now to help them automate their business and operate more efficiently? It's few and far between. The reason why this is so powerful is because the offer has already been proven to work. So all you have to do is take it and apply it to other industries. Could lawyers use VAs? Could dentists use VAs? Could doctors use VAs? The answer is yes. Every single business could leverage virtual assistants to automate their marketing, automate admin tasks, automate reaching out to their customers. I promise you there are tasks that a $3 or $5 or $10 an hour VA can automate. All you have to do is arbitrage that opportunity and be the first to market when it comes to offering VAs in that specific niche. If you actually think about it, virtual assistants became very popular in the online marketing world. And the reason for that is because online marketers tend to be first to market with new marketing strategies. They're always innovating, always testing things out, and they're the first to see it work. What's really interesting is that over the last year or two, the real estate industry has started to use VAs more and more. And that goes to show that if you take that concept and spread it across different industries, it's going to work really well. One of my favorite marketers of all time, Jay Abraham, 
recommends that if you're stuck when it comes to innovation, one of the easiest tasks that you can do or one of the easiest ways to get out of that innovative slump is to look at what's working really well in other industries that still haven't been brought to your industry. So virtual assistants are a prime example. Now you're probably wondering, how do you price this? You can either charge anywhere between $1,500 to $2,500 per month for each VA, where you train the VA, you manage the VA, and they just work through you, but on that client's business. Another way that you could do it is charge a placement fee and then an ongoing training and management fee. So maybe you charge $3,000 one time for the VA, but then the business has to keep paying you $500 a month reoccurring to ensure that VA in case they leave or they wanna try a new one and for you to also keep training and managing them. Number four is to create a content creator placement agency. We all know content is really powerful in getting people amazing results. The reason for that is because you get to essentially help business owners build a relationship with their clients before they buy. You're automating the entire relationship building process. By building a brand, you get people to buy into who you are and what you offer. Whereas if you run ads, you're only getting people to buy into the offer. You're not really getting a chance to be nurtured through content, through all of the value that the business owner is putting out. Now, what does this have to do with content creator placement? Well, a lot of business owners know they need to create content. They're busy, but they just don't want to do it. And this is where your opportunity comes in. You can take content creators and place them into different businesses to have them be the face of those brands. Now, the reason why this is genius is because number one, no one is doing it. Number two, it solves the problem of the business owner having to be the one of creating content and you having to hold them accountable and then they don't want to do it and then they forget to do it and then you don't actually end up creating content for them. And number three, you control the whole process. So now you've got a content creator that works for you and they essentially work with specific clients of yours. So for example, let's say that you have a dental client, you have a content creator named Emily that is the content creator for that dentist and they get to post every single day one video about dentists. You get to come up with the scripts, you get to come up with the hooks, you get to come up with the editing, and you're managing the content creator to create that content on behalf of the dentist. To top it all off, what's even crazier is that businesses are going to retain like crazy with this offer. Because if they've built an entire brand around your content creator, well, if they fire you, they lose that entire brand. You're essentially taking their business brand and aligning it with a personal brand. And now people associate the person with that business. What happens when you remove the person? The brand of the business will also drop. So not only is this a completely untapped opportunity, not only does it solve a really big problem of helping businesses create content without them having to be the ones doing it, but it will also be a service that sets you up for a long, long-term relationship. Number five is something that I like to call lead gen content hybrid. We just talked about the importance of creating content and there are content agencies out there. There's also lead generation agencies out there. There's a ton of people that are running ads for clients. There's a ton of people that are doing short form content for clients. Very few agencies are taking the best of both worlds. One of the problems with content is that you can't control how much traffic you're going to generate. You can make the best video in the world and it still might not hit. On the flip side with ads, you spend $10, you get X amount of impressions. You spend $100, you get X amount of impressions. You spend $1,000, you get X amount of impressions. $1 in, you know exactly what you're going to get out in terms of views. The reason why that's so powerful is that it creates scale and it allows for more leverage. Now with content, you're able to really build a relationship with the prospects that get into your ecosystem and the people that do follow you through your content are much more likely to buy. Paid ads, you get all of these leads, but then they don't know who you are, they don't show up, they miss the appointment, and they don't buy. How do you combine both worlds? Well, you create an SMMA that offers both services. I know it sounds silly because it's so simple, but not a lot of people are doing it. For example, if I help Dr. John, a chiropractor in Philadelphia, blow up on TikTok, and then I'm also running his TikTok ads, what's gonna happen when someone from the ad was like, yeah, this sounds cool, $21 adjustment, let me sign up. And then they're like, oh, I don't really know. But then you know what? Let me go check out his content. And then they watch his videos. And they watch video after video after video, and they get warmed up. You think that this guy that came in through the ads is more likely to show up and buy now that he was warmed up 
by the doctor's content. Of course, you get the best of both worlds. You get to control the amount of traffic, but you can also create an ecosystem where you're nurturing those leads so that now every lead that comes in through paid ads is much more likely to show up and actually close. Number six, ERC agency. You're probably wondering, what am I talking about? A few years back, the government rolled out a program called the Employee Retention Tax Credit. The idea was if your business experienced a shutdown, but you still kept your employees, they're willing to essentially give you a credit back for doing the right thing when your business was negatively impacted. If you had a restaurant, you had 20 employees and then you shut down, but you kept those employees, the government is willing to write you a check up to $26,000 per employee that you retain. Now you probably think I'm absolutely crazy. But you can literally Google it, look up ERC, and you'll see on the IRS website that this program is real and it exists. And what's even crazier is that it's not a loan that they have to pay back. It's truly a tax credit. And what's crazy is that as long as the business owner is honest and they share exact numbers on how many employees they retain, how much they pay in payroll tax, and all of that important information, the government will literally send the local business a check with all of that money. Now, what the hell does this have to do with SMMA? Well, this is one of the greatest offers that anyone has ever been able to run to local businesses. Here's the pitch. You want free money? Okay, cool. Let's see if you're approved. And then the IRS will send you a check. That's the offer. It's insane. Now, Here's how it connects to SMM. Now, let's say that you're working with restaurants. You can reach out to restaurants now, and instead of saying, hey, do you want TikTok ads? Or instead of saying, hey, do you want VAs? You can now say, have you guys applied for your credit? The answer is no. You can now help them and get them free money. Guess what's gonna happen once they've gotten that check? They're gonna love you. Most importantly, they're gonna have money for marketing to hire you for your SMM. And if they did receive the credit and they did get back to you, at least now you opened up the conversation and you can transition to your SMMA services. The reason why this will work so well is because this unique angle is such an irresistible offer and you're gonna get so many business owners that say yes and wanna talk to you. You get them to apply, they're approved, they're gonna get free money, all thanks to you, and then now you have the relationship to pitch them on marketing.